Thank you very much for that accurate response to my presence. I appreciate that. Good to see you. How you feeling tonight? Oh, okay, you're feeling woo. Good to know, good to know. Uh, don't worry, by the way, I'm very funny, uh, you know, because, uh, because I'm black. <laughs> And that is history, uh, science, and sometimes a curse. No, I, uh, people always ask me, like, why, where my sense of humor come from, you know, and uh, it's because I grew up in a kind of a rough neighborhood where people had, you know, knives and guns, especially this one guy we used to call Stabby Stabby Gunshots. <laughs> and when you speak like this in that neighborhood, you have to get funny quickly or you get killed slowly. <laughs> Because I walk up to people like, perspicacity, I saw it in a dictionary. And um, had to develop a sense of humor. That was middle school for me. Mother Smurfer, I will shoot you until you are stabbed. <laughs> and then I would say, why would you ever want to shoot me? Scoot, do, 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 do. You're right, the world needs clowns. <laughs> I enjoy your elbows while scatting routine. Did I say hello when I came out? Okay, kind of. Well, hello, if I didn't say it before. I'm trying to find a deeper, truer meaning to the word hello, because it's a word that we say so much that sometimes it feels, you know, meaningless. And I was uh, looking it up online the other night, and that's how you know you're alone. When you are in bed alone on the internet late at night, and you're not looking at porn, like you're beyond porn. You're like, well, nothing left but clips of break dances and uh, billiards trick shot videos, because knowing random things is the same as a personality, right, myself? <laughs> and usually in that place, I'm like, what's the opposite of sex? Education. <laughs> and I try to teach myself something. So hello used to not be a greeting. It used to mean one of two things. It used to be a call into the darkness. Is anyone there? You know, you'd say, hello, in a forest alone and hope you didn't hear wolves. And then the other was what you said when you were surprised about, hello, that was the other one. You weren't expecting someone and they were in your face, maybe a wolf, hello. You don't have to say it like you're in a local production of Bye Bye Birdie, but it does help convey the meaning. And uh, I love that, because that means on some deep visceral level, hello really means I am scared. And that's what we're saying to people all the time. We have no idea. That's what we're doing walking on the street. I'm scared, I'm scared. Oh, okay, I got a important phone call. Uh, might be my boss. Hold on real quick. I'm scared. <laughs> and I love that. And goodbye used to be God be with ye. But we were like, I don't have time for that. <laughs> Keep half the letters, much more usable. And I think we should go back to God be with ye because that is the scariest thing you can say to someone's face. <laughs> right before they exit yours. You gotta balance out, I'm scared. Like next time someone's like, I'm leaving, don't be like, okay, see ya, put on a show. Turn on some dramatic music and just go, I know not what will happen when you leave my sight. There is much world and there are as many knives as there are hands of strangers to wield them against you. Terror and fear are your only true companions in this beast's gut we call existence. I'd go with you, but I just got this couch to the perfect degree of ass warmth. <laughs> and also these world star hip hop bus driver video fights aren't going to watch themselves. So until next time, gaze upon your face. God be with you. <laughs> I uh, really haven't been sleeping enough lately. Love sleep. Sleep, great, right? Round of applause for sleep if you love it. <laughs> sleep is great. Just doing nothing while your brain defragments. Being awake is great. Being awake is awesome too. Like what? Orgasms and sushi. But like, <laughs> it's the transition I don't care for. Waking up, right? Because you are ripped, ripped out of whatever your brain was doing to make you happy. Usually I'm in a hot tub with a successful black actress while she gives me a back rub and I make puns on her name. They should call you Megan Good with your hands. And then, <laughs> 
she looks at me and she's like, eh, 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 eh. And I wake up like, what, sushi? I'm just willing to wager that nobody here today woke up this morning and said to yourself, oh my God, that was the exact amount of rest I needed. I'm on time for everything I need to do today. I like you, me, to yourself in the mirror. You walk out the door, off to the place where no one misunderstands me called work. I just hate waking up more than anything. It's like number one on my list, waking up. Number one, number one, wake it up. Number two is uh, racism. It goes waking up, <laughs> then racism. Got priorities. And then small dogs. That's really the order. I... The only thing that could be worse is waking up to racism, which is awkward, to say the least. What a lovely rest. Why is this rope around my neck? Why is there a burning cross and pugs and chihuahuas everywhere? <laughs> That's how I assume people find a burning cross. They kind of wake up to it, right? Smell it cooking. What is that, breakfast? Nope, just hatred. Because no one ever notices the workshop of the cross. Guys building it. No one ever notices the dude sneaking down the street in white robes with a bunch of two by fours, just like a Warner Brothers cartoon. It's like. Be very, very quiet. Now I'm running for senator. 